Hello friend and welcome to today's guide. This one will be a very simple guide, but the information in it can be of much value to some. Spawning a water pump in different areas of the map seems to be a challenge for many Daisy gamers. I've seen the questions all over the Daisy communities. So if you have a friend that is having the same issue, make sure to share this video with them. Also, take a trip by our Discord, where you can find these exact codes in the free code sub channel. Let's get started. To spawn a water pump, you must treat this like any other static building. There are two files that we must visit. Let's begin by opening up the events.xml file. This portion I will make extra simple for you. This code is under the free code subchannel on our Discord. Fully edited and ready to go for your Nitrata server. Go ahead, take a trip, don't be shy. The two more important things here are the name of the structure and giving the structure an event name that will match the code under the CFG event spawns.xml. If you need to, pause this video now and add this code to the events.xml file on your Nitrato server before we move on to the second portion. In this next step, I will show you how to create the code from scratch. But just in case, the code will also be added to our Discord for you to go ahead and edit. For the sake of this tutorial, I will edit the very first event on the very top of the CFG event spawns.xml. Let's start by reducing the spawn points down to 1. Next, let's make sure to fix any errors or remove any extra spaces. And also let's follow that by naming the event exactly the same as you did under the events.xml. The next thing that you have to do is give this event a position on your map. And we can achieve that by going to isurvive.com on your PC. I highly recommend that you find open, flat terrain and avoid placing your water pump close to any other structures to make sure that it actually spawns and implements. Once you find the location that you would like, press the Ctrl F key simultaneously to copy the coordinates. Once you have those, go back to your Nitrato server and replace the X value and the Z value axis with your brand new coordinates. I know that by now I don't need to remind you, but you should have been saving your progress the entire time. You did that, right? After you save your work, start or restart your server so the changes actually implement. This is but one of the many breakthroughs our Discord community has been able to accomplish. So if you need help, don't be shy. Come join us. The link is down in the description. And remember to subscribe and turn on the notifications for more content. Remember, the Melodic Hills channel is not just a modding channel. We have music, we have gaming, we have mentorship. My guys, my gals. Stay sexy.